What is going on guys? My name is Devon and welcome back to a new vlog and in today's video Peterborough United are playing Swindon Town at home so after last weekend's MK Don's away days we are off to see Peterborough play at home with our three deadline day signings now I was going to try and remember these off the top of my head. It is quite early, as it is an early kickoff today. So back to the free transfer deadline signings. George Monker and the two players from Tottenham. Now, one of them's a goalkeeper. And then, oh, I can't remember the other bloke. I'll put it on the screen. You'll see it on the screen. But yeah, early kickoff. We're live on Sky today. So when we get home, we're actually going to play my favourite game whenever I go to Peter Road game and we're on telly is spot yourself on telly. Now if I do, I will put some pictures right at the end of the vlog of me on Sky because that is like one of my favourite things to do, to spot yourself on the TV. So I'm heading off to the train station now. We're going to catch, I think it's a 10.49 train, head over to Greg's Poundland and head over to the posh. My prediction for today is 2-0 to the posh. McCann said during the, uh, well yesterday actually it was, for me on the day of recording this, that the three new signings have brought something new to the training ground. That there was a better tempo and training was much better than he's seen it before. So let's see. I, don't, I think Anik or whoever actually does go and go in the end, I think we will keep a clean sheet at the back Obviously there will be some changes with possibly those free transfer deadline signings coming in today. Uh, you've got Michael Smith out on international duty. So yeah, let's see what the changes are for the posh today. And I'll catch you in a bit. I'd also like to say a massive thank you to everyone that has been liking these videos, commenting down below. And just watching the, these videos in general, it is much appreciated by me. So keep the support up. If you are looking forward to seeing the posh today, hit that like button. Make sure you comment down below. What do you think P Pete Bro's transfer season would be like? Do you think we've brought in enough players? Do you think we've brought in the right players? Let me know down below. Stop, done, cup of tea, ready for the game. Poundland and McDonald's next to get some food for lunch and a drink for the game. So, McDonald's, I think it's McFlurry, Big Mac, sounds right. Right, McDonald's done, got Big Mac, just Big Mac, no McFlurry this time. Uh, now off to Poundland, drinks and sweets for the game. Right, got drinks, now off to Asda because they didn't have the sweets I wanted, looking for some squashies. That's really nice. Go try them out, guys. If you have a pound, find any shop, they'll be in there. Apart from Peterborough, Poundland, up there. They don't have them. Bingo. Right, shopping all done. Got all the foods, um, some squashies, some mountain juice. Now we're going to head off to the game. Uh, pick up the programme and let's get some vlogging for the posh game. Come on, United!
city of Peterborough for the uh, uh, safe journey home. In the meantime, we are building up, not just to kick off and start TV, but we're building up to our big mascot race. As you can see, the mascots uh, are preparing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you doing, good, mate. Oh, you doing, mascot race. 2017. Let's go through the runners and runners for you. In lane one, we have the Avax A from our ground sponsors, Avax. Not a lot of love for the Avax A there. Maybe this will be a day to remember. A familiar dodgy dog the It's PB, the Prinsville mascot, a ripple of respect there for PB. But now we're going to come, ladies and gentlemen, from the trampoline park in Greater. Is Milton looking cool, Norman? Looking cool. On to now our share sponsor, right. of course, Mick George. And Mick the skip is here, not going for his sprinting, but he's got an, an outside chance. And now we come to the big man. They're calling you Saint Bob. He is to mascot racing. What you say is to the Olympics. He's the reigning champion, the heavyweight champion, the carry eating champion, ladies and gentlemen. The
guys possibly one nil up
another one of those goals. I think it was a scrappy defending. I'm at the post, two all is the end score. We're gonna make a dash for it because it's raining really badly. I need to catch this train. Guys, we just made it. About a minute spare if that. I'm honestly out of breath. Run from London Road at six minutes past two and got to here for quarter past two. Just made it in time. As, it, as soon as that last whistle went, I was right, right by the end, end exit even of London Road. I just pegged it. So, give me a minute to catch my breath and I'll give you a post-match, my thoughts on the post-match game against the Swindon. I've caught my breath back to give you my thoughts on the game today. Starting off with their first goal. Uh, it was a penalty up to the other side. Um, obviously I can't see it. When I'm editing I'll be able to look at it a bit more because I've recorded it live on Sky and all of that. Uh, from where I was it looked like, I don't know who gave away the penalty, but the posh player has gone in and he's like kind of slidden. I don't think he's made any contact with the player. But I think he's raised his arms and he's raised it a bit too high. And he stopped the ball going past him, which could have either been a pass over him or a shot at target. Uh, so I think that's where the ref's given it from where I was in London Road, obviously. They were shooting to the motor point stand, so I can't give any opinions on that. So I think that made it one all there. And then it was uh, a push penalty against, uh, towards London Road End, you guys saw that. Um, I have to watch that back again, I, I don't know about that penalty either. No. Fans were calling for it, I was, I'm not quite sure. I, I really didn't see, it. it did happen quite quickly when I was watching it myself. But yeah, I have to watch that one back. And the third goal, I didn't see that one. It, was, it looked so crowded in the box, I couldn't tell you how that one came about. I think, I think it was a lot of scrappy defending. At the back, I don't think we were the same people aside I've seen. Um, I definitely think Tafazoli need needs to come back. I think then we can become solid at the back. Like I said in my MK Dons video, I think either Bostwick and Tafazoli might be a strong link. Either Bolden and Tafazoli. But with Michael Smith being out today, obviously, on international duty today. Um, it could have been even that. Uh, Smith is a great leader at the back. It, he'll get you doing what he wants and what McCann wants you to do. So it could have just even just been Michael Smith's presence being a loss today. Um, it was good to see um, George Moncur come in today. Uh, he, I think he played well, the, I think it was 30, 20 minutes he played. And so did, oh, I, can, I can't say his name or spell it. It'd be on the screen now. Uh, him, the one you've seen, I think he played, he played alright. I think Madison could have shot, Taylor was looking a bit sluggish towards the end. He could have released the ball many times, creating the better posh chances. So we only made two subs I think, if I was paying attention right. So a third one taking Taylor off, um, putting someone else on, he's bringing another midfielder. Could have helped, I don't, I don't know if we did, if we did all use our subs up or the right subs were made. Yeah, two all the final score. My man and match from uh, Tyler played well, he made some great saves. Uh, Tom Nichols played well. Uh, there's no one really to give it to in my opinion. They said Marcus Madison, yes he played well. He took a good penalty. Uh, Grion Edwards, he had a good game but got subbed off for Moncur, I think it was towards the start of the second half after they scored their penalty, I think it was. So yeah. That's my thoughts on the game. By the way, the reason I had to rush was I was going out after the posh game to go see some friends. So I needed to make sure I got this one back so that I got to theirs in plenty of time. So I will see you next week. I think we're playing Port Vale. Let me check that. Port Vale next weekend, Saturday the 10th, so you'll be getting that the following Monday of that. And then Sheffield United on the 17th. Now I have a bit of a problem here. 
I have my NCS graduation on that day. Now, I would like to go to my NCS graduation. A, I've got a problem getting there in the first place, so I don't know what's been sort of there. I really want to go see Sheffield United away. It's been another box to tick off my away days trips this season. So there's some thoughts to go into that, depending on how much I've got money-wise. So I've not got money up to sort out a trip. It's, it's all going to be sorted. But if you follow me on Twitter, D Woolwin, link in the description, go check it out. I keep an eye on my Twitter and I will keep you updated on my Twitter on the Friday night of that game. So this Friday the 16th, I will let you know what I'm doing. Uh, or I might let you know next week's vlog. Go check it out. If you did enjoy today's video, hit that like button. If you're new, subscribe down below. Big red button. It mean much, mean much support to me if you go hit that big red button. So you, you are loving these posh vlogs. Comment down below. Anything you want to ask me. It's a bit, I hope you can hear me. Uh, yeah. Any questions, anything, ask me down below. I really do enjoy talking to you guys down below. And I will see you in next week's video. Bye guys.